So I made this quick video where it's a way for, so you know when you see the guy in the gym that's like, that's how, that's how bodybuilders know. They can see it on their body, how they are improving. Now, the same thing goes for horses in the sense that the only difference is they're not going to stand in the mirror and flex their muscles. <laughs> so you have to make them flex them yourself. Um, this video is going to show you two flexes, one for the abs and one for the butt for you to be able to gauge if more muscles are being built. Of course, you have to also do it the first week to see where you're starting from. And just for frame of reference, my horse, the horse in that video, and I tell this to you in the video, when he, when I first did the ab flex, he didn't move his body at all to the point where I thought I was doing it wrong. And I wasn't doing it wrong. He just he just got through his whole entire life without actually having to use his ab muscles. <laughs> and it wasn't until the equiband where it actually made him lift up in his core because he just, he. <sighs> hard work beats, beats talent. Everyday talent doesn't work hard enough. And he just didn't even need to use his ab muscles. So <laughs> I, I was happy that the equiband taught him how though because it opened an entire new um level of this horse and i know that it's going to do the same for your horse because ultimately if a horse can use their body better they can do more with it and i don't know what that means for your horse for every horse is going to look a little if a little different but you know even if you are somebody who is um when you ride right so say you don't work out but you ride okay excellent but if you started, say, cycling or swimming or running on a treadmill or added an additional workout, ultimately, inevitably, that is going to make the riding easier because you're stacking your workouts and you're making your body better at what you're doing. And that's what this tool does for horses. 